Oh guys, Butch Boy Tom here. Right, Talos. Jason the Argonauts had a tiff with this big bronze statue. Um, back in the old Greek legends. But uh, hopefully I brought them to life. Now, the walking sequence, it was a bit of a ball ache to get sorted, but I've managed it. Um, we'll pop inside the body and I'll show you how I've done it. Now I found rotors will stop intermittently when you're moving. So that's been knocked on the head. Timer blocks tend to fizzle out and go erratic. Um, I think that's due to the memory on the Xbox. So I've opted for a piston now. Just keep chugging away no matter what. Now, each side left and right is the walking sequence. So it starts with the foot back and locked and then ends with foot forward and locked. Um, so that's left and right series. The piston goes up, activates each sensor going down. That'll activate a part of the sequence. And then when it gets to the bottom or top sensor, it switches all them sensors off, reverses the piston, and it starts on the other side of the sequence. And that'll just carry on as long as it's walking. Now then, eyeballs. They work uh, not too bad. I've got them moving. Um, if I can get this. Anyway, that's that's the old uh, sacrifice to the god clan. A few engineers there from the uh, uh, munch on, so it keeps them happy. Anyway, eyeballs. Got them working. Use a bit of the old projector. Um, just got them moving side to side with the head. So the head's sort of like a random movement. Got some timers on a loop and they set at different times so the head will just randomly move around like that. Um, so hopefully that looks canny. Now then, um, got some nice nice effects going and things like that. But the hands, fully articulated and the well he's walking will move so when it's forward the hand closes when it's back it opens, it opens out. So you can see that there, all the fingers move. The thumb moves as well, but I haven't got it in the sequence because it was pointless, there was just no point having it moving. But you could program that to grip. Um, put a sword in the hand or something like that, but it will grip. So that's your hand, all moving nicely. Wrist moves as well, turns and um, turns around, elbows and shoulders move, um, control from the cockpit, which is just uh, below the chest, and um, press left on the D-pad, that starts and stops the walking cycle. I've got a camera in the foot, which gives you a, a nice, unique view of the, of the walking sequence, as you can see here. So, let that run. Now the walking sequence isn't perfect, but um, I could fiddle about it with it for hours more, but uh, I, th I think I'll leave it at this. And then if any of you guys download this um, and are into scripting, you could probably script this to do some pretty funky stuff. Um, there you go, that's your foot camera. And back in the cockpit, you can sit in the cockpit and it'll just walk around. It's basic inside, there's no oxygen, anything like that. There's um, cargo containers for ice, a couple of engines to run that, uh, basically just to charge up the batteries and keep it moving. But that's basically it. So, hope you enjoyed that. Keep smiling, guys, and uh, keep building. Ta-da now.